So whenever I'm recording a new video, um, there are these super annoying filler words that fill the speech. And the reason this occurs is that the brain needs to uh, fill in the pauses with something. And it also usually occurs when it's the first take of the video and the script really hasn't settled in my head. Now, um, these filler words, they are, you know, a real annoyance for, for the audience. Once you hear them, you can't unhear them. And for me, as a video producer, I also have to, it's a really a pain to edit them out. I have to figure out where they begin and where they end and then cut out those parts of the video. So for this video, um, I thought it would be super cool to see whether I could code up a Python project that is able to detect these filler words and also remove them so that I don't have to do that myself. So in this video, I also want to show you guys my thought process that I use when whenever I code these programming projects. So the first thing is to divide your problem or your project into smaller parts or into smaller steps. So the first step would be in this project to find a text to speech model or a speech to text model that is able to convert speech into text. Once that has been done, we would like to scan the text or filter the text to find the filler words along with the timestamps at which they occur. So we should get, you know, a list of, uh, of timestamps uh, for each of the filler words. After that, we would like to divide up or, or split the video into multiple smaller videos. So each of the smaller videos would basically be, you know, without the, without the filler words. So once that's been done, we would like to merge the individual uh, smaller videos into one final video. So I looked into these speech to text models and apparently there are many ways to do it. There's the speech recognition uh, Python uh, package that has a lot of different support for, from, from multiple APIs. So there's this whole list of, uh, of, of external services that you can integrate with this. So I looked into this one called OpenAI Whisper uh, because it's you know made by OpenAI. So I thought, you know, they, they know how to make these uh, how to make these models right after chat gpt and the best part is that it's completely free now the only problem is uh, with this one uh, well not only this one but also most of the others here uh, is that they're trained to filter out these filler words so when you actually do the transcription the filler words are removed from the text itself and this is by design and obviously this is not something that we want right we want to actually figure out well, the timestamps of the filler words. So it took me very long, like half a day or something to find a library. Obviously I wasn't gonna code this myself. So it took me very long to find a library that actually does this. And luckily I found something that does both of these things. So it not only adds timestamps, but it's also able to detect these filler words and it's called Whisper Timestamped. And it's actually based on Whisper. So let's see how to implement this library in code. So we have the usual import statements in the cell up here. I'm just gonna run this. The first step is next is now to extract the audio from the video and uh, it, it's rather simple. We just uh, use the video file clip to, to, to get the video and then we use audio write audio file to, to extract the audio and write it to the project directory. And I'm giving it the intro to this video where I said those three ums and the one uh, I'm giving that as input so we'll see how it handles it. All right, so it has now extracted the audio and as you can see, we can also run this if we wish. The next step is to load the whisper model and transcribe the audio. So I've already loaded the audio here. Uh, and then we, we just say load model to load the model. And there are many different models you can give it. I'm just giving it the tiny model here because uh, I, I don't really know how much. I have like 8 GB of RAM in this computer and it, it, it worked fine for the for the test cases that I did, the tiny models, I'm just gonna go with that. I'm giving CPU as device because I'm running this on a Mac and it doesn't actually have a GPU. It has something called MPS and it didn't really work, work for me when I tried it out. But if you have CUDA installed and PyTorch, then you can actually run this on the GPU. It's gonna be a bit faster. So I'm gonna say model like that. Uh, once we have the model, we're gonna say whisper.transcribe and we are going to give the model and the audio and also that does not look right, uh, model and audio. And we are also going to give it the language. You don't have to give it the language, but it speeds up the processing a bit. And next we're also going to give it a flag called detect disfluencies. And this is actually the thing, the flag that's going to enable us to find the filler words. Uh, and I'm gonna save this in a result variable. Oh, sorry in a result variable and I am going to print the result and let's run this. It's done running and as you can see we have the entire text here of that video clip and we also have something called segments which are the chunks of the of the text so this is like the first sentence here 
as you can see and we also have the tokens and some other information as well as the confidence but if you look here you'll see that there's like for every for that entire sentence you also have the individual words so we have so that's the first word i say and the starting time of that as well as the ending time of that now if we if you scan through this you'll see that there are some asterisks with a starting and ending uh, there's also one here and these are actually the filler words that the model has detected it doesn't show it up here in the text itself and we don't know what the exact word is but we do know that it's you know it's either a repeated word or a filler word if that if it's an asterisk so we already have the information here the next step is now just to basically do something with this information the next step is to actually get the timestamps of the filler words so i already have some logic written here where i just go through the segments uh, and so for every word in the in every sentence I'm just checking whether this asterisk appears and if it does then I'm taking the starting and the ending of that and I'm putting that in a list so if you run this and then print filler words out you'll see that these are the times when when a filler word or a repeated word appears now this is not actually so when we're cutting the video we need to so we want basically the inverse of this, right? So we don't, so we want the video from the starting to 6.24 and then from 6.38 to 7.08 because these times, so between 6.24 and 6.38, we actually wish to discard this part of the video. So the actual times that we need are, are, are actually outside these ranges. So to do that, I have some other logic here where I just take the... The starting, uh, well, where, where I take the the ending of the of the first index, and then I take the the starting of the next index, and then just take the well, take that take that as the starting and that as the ending. So we go six three eight seven zero eight seven point seven ten fifty four, uh, so like diagonally like that. So if I run this, you'll see that we actually have the split times, and we have zero to six to twenty four six thirty eight to seven oh eight. And so on the next thing is actually to just split up the video into different chunks based on the based on the times that we get from from the split times variable so i'll just go for start time and just take split times i0 and then time split times i1 and then i use the ffmpeg extract subclip function to actually just uh, extract the, the relevant um, subclips like that and let's run this and you'll see that we have all of the the chunks the different chunks of the videos the last step is to merge the different videos and for that well, again we're just running our for loop and we are creating a video file clip of uh, from each of the clips and once we've done that we use the concatenate video clips function from the moviepy um, package to get a final clip and then we write it uh, into a video file called final.mp4 so i'll just run this and it'll take a while to run All right it's not done running and we can actually click on it and let's see what it has done so whenever i'm recording a new video um, there are these super annoying filler words that fill the speech and the reason this occurs is that the brain needs to uh, fill in the pauses with something. Sometimes it also usually occurs when it's the first take of the video and the script really hasn't been in my head. Now, um, these filler words, they are, you know, a real annoyance for, for the audience. Once you hear them, you can't unhear them. For me, as a video producer, I also have to, it's a real pain to edit them out. I have to figure out where they begin and where they end and then cut out those parts of the video. So for this video, I thought it would be super cool to see whether I could code up a Python project that is able to detect these filler words. And Yeah, so I guess it's kind of works, but there are also places where it's cutting, I think, a bit too much. So there are some random spots where I'm pretty sure I didn't say any of those ums or uhs and it's still cutting them. And the second thing is that it doesn't actually, so it cuts it at, precise, at very precise times. And so I might be in the middle of saying something and it's just cutting it, which causes, you know, the spike in the audio levels. Still, no, it was quite a fun, quite a fun project. And I hope you, you liked this.